Yeah. Okay. Welcome to the Cash Flow Empire, everybody, where every Tuesday night we come together. And tonight is actually a super, super special episode just because, as you all may know, that have been joining us all year long. We like to bring very experienced owners, operators, attorneys, brokers. Uh, and you just name it just to talk about the dirty, ugly truth about multifamily and just real estate in general. So that's something that we take pride in here at the Cashflow Empire, where we like to bring a lot of free value. Um, and just that experience, just because I think most of us are a part of a thirty to $40,000 mentorship. Well, here we like to talk about everything, the pros, the cons uh, of what we're actually doing um, when we're buying these multifamily assets and single family in this case, because we did have a couple of single family uh, gurus, a couple of single family experts that came in and that are just killing it in that field. So that being said, tonight we are talking about, John, I mean, it's been a year, right? It's been a year since we started this podcast, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a year, so, man. It's crazy. Wow, it's crazy. So we've been going at this for 52 weeks where we're bringing, you know, some people, uh, family, friends, and 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 partners. And it's just, it's it's been such an awesome ride. So tonight's just a very special episode because we're going to have, uh, we're going to wrap up the year just what on, on how is it that we were able to, to grow together as a team, uh, talk about our goals, talk about how the cash flow empire impacted you in a positive way. Now we do understand that tonight there is a lot of first timers out here, which is completely fine. But what's beautiful about that guys is that you're going to be able to sit here and, uh, and to listen to a lot of the people and to see how is it that our community here at the Cashflow Empire every Tuesday night was able to inspire them in such a positive way so that you're you're sitting here saying, you know what, these guys ain't fake. These guys ain't just throwing BS out every Tuesday. You know, these guys are out here trying to do something positive in the community. So I'm super excited for everybody that's here. If, you're, if it's your first time here, welcome. And if it's your 52nd time here and you haven't missed a call, you know, welcome back. And we're just grateful to have you here back and, and just joining us just because it's been a hell of a journey all year long. So that being said, John, I'm going to let you go ahead and take it from here. Awesome. Awesome, man. Caesar, Caesar, man. So, so thank you for being here today, man. Uh, feel free to unmute yourself, man. And, and let's go ahead, Caesar. You want to introduce yourself and tell us who is Caesar and, uh, and yeah, let's start it from there. Can you guys hear me? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. What's up, everyone? I see some familiar faces here. Good to see you guys again. For the unfamiliar faces, what's up? I'm Caesar, um, out of Dallas, Texas. Uh, so 2023, 20, to me, 2023 was a good realization for myself. I got more in depth with it with Sergio and kind of, you know, told him you know, a little bit of everything. But this year was a big eye opener of like my whole life did a 180, 360. And especially what made it, what uh, pushed it over the edge was the event. You know, the event really was just like, like, oh my goodness, you know, it's just, there's just so many possibilities, no limits. And just really, it's really good to be like part of like a community, like, you know, small little society where everyone is very driven versus motivated, you know, because like what Sergio said, motivation goes away. But if you're driven, which is more internal, you're like, there's this fire inside of you. You know, there's this fire that's burning. It's like, man, I want to do something else. I want to do good. I want to give back. I want to, you know, keep going. So, but yeah, 2024, uh, my goal is to uh, just be, you know, listen, more listen, you know, be like a student. I like to call myself an apprentice, you know, just a student of the uh, multifamily game, a student of the, you know, everything. I just love, love to learn. Like I want to, I'm such a white person. Like, you know, I'm always asking like, so why'd you just, 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 just because, just because I want to know so I can learn, you know, but yeah, yeah, so good to be here, man. That is exciting, man. That is exciting. Uh, yeah, Sergio, any questions? Yeah, for actually, for those for those of you guys that that are wondering, that is my little brother. Uh, we still got a minute, so I'm gonna finish up the clock. That is my little brother. I'm super excited to have him on the team, um, and and I'm I'm just ready to just to run with it, man. I'm I'm excited to just just to tell teach him everything I know, um, and and I think uh, it's just all about who you hang out with, right? Little did he know that he had a brother that's. I was just trying really hard in this game. So I'm excited just to welcome him on the team. So uh, welcome, little brother or brother. I, I'm just, that's my little, little brother. brother. 
Yeah, I'd like to see that. But uh, welcome to the team, man. I'm excited for you. I'm super glad that you decided to come with us to Miami and to meet everybody here and my team and just everybody, bro. So super excited to do big things with you. And, and I think you're going to have a lot of fun. Um, and, and let's go. Let's go. Let's get, let's get it. That's awesome, Caesar, man. Thank you so much for, for sharing that. So we have a multi keys, right? <laughs> Kylan, are you there, man? Hi, Keys. Yes, sir. How have y'all been? It's been a while since I've been man, in contact. That's with exciting to have you here, man. <laughs> it's amazing. Hey, bro, um, thank you. Thank you always for your support and, and actually being here. And uh, and again, guys, so, you, you know, when I give you some exposure, you want to make sure that you introduce yourself with everybody. So, and that's a way for us to be accountable with you because, you know, it, it's not easy to actually speak in front of 50 people, right? Over 50 people in this call, right? So we know how it feels, but that's a way from us to kind of be accountable for you and actually push yourself to, to, to actually raise your hand and speak in front of everybody, right? Because, you know, I still remember, and I think like, uh, you know, when I push myself to do that, you know, I, that, that's a, that's a grew, you know, I grew, I grew pretty much, you know, a lot, but, but just go ahead, man. I, I don't, I don't want to take your guys show today, but, but just go, go ahead, uh, Kellen. Of course. And excuse the camera. Um, I'm not in the best place to, to turn my camera, but I just want to get on here. Um, just to, just to give a message out. Um, I mean, 2023 has been, you know, a year, but it did come with a blessing. I was able to finally close my first multifamily deal, um, 195 units at the age of 20. And I just want to motivate everybody that's on this call. That it doesn't matter your age or, you know, whenever you're going to start this process, because I started, as, as y'all are aware, I started my career when I was 17. And I'm just now able to uh, finally close uh, my first deal for the 195 units. And it, it, it was definitely a process, uh, but it was definitely, you know, it, I, I'm, I'm definitely grateful and appreciative that I was, I was still able to close at a young age. And now my future goals for 2024 is just to at least get, you know, another deal. And by the second deal or, or my third deal, it, um, the, def the definite goal is to be a deal sponsor. So hopefully I'll be able to get that by 2025. But, I mean, you still got to plan it out in 2024 and one thing that this deal helped me realize and I, I just want this message to be sent out before I get off is don't limit yourself because when I was 17 I've always said you know I want my first deal to be 200 units and I said that because as Grant Cardone you want to have 10x in your mindset you want to reach to the stars and I honestly didn't think that I was going to be able to get so close to 200 units but as you know, my first deal was 195 units. So just me closing that deal, you think that I would have went out and drank and just celebrated, but I actually still have not even celebrated. Um, once when it closed, I know it's crazy because it's $20 million, but it just felt small. It just felt simple because I've been working for so long to get to this point. So now once when I achieve that goal, I just want to aim for something bigger. So now my next goal that I envision to have will be at least 30 to 35 million and just increasing in, in skills of economy. But I just want y'all to know that whatever you're achieve, achieving to do, just know that it might not be as big of a goal as you might think that will possibly be. Even from the outside in, they're thinking, okay, damn, he's, he has a $20 million acquisition at 20 years old. But once when you just keep the effort and just keep going, and aiming for the stars, once when you get it, it's like, damn, it's actually pretty small. And now my mindset is onto something bigger, but now I know I can achieve something bigger. So I'll just leave that message out. And um, y'all have been doing a fantastic job. Like it's it as soon as the Zoom call started, there's already 50 people here. That's that's amazing. I've I've, I've definitely been seeing the progress in both of y'all. So I just want to say congratulations. And uh, I just want everybody to know whatever you're trying to achieve for, just know that it's possible. That's amazing, word. man. Mm -hmm. That was amazing. Do, do you have any? Do you have any final questions to to him, Sergio? Just uh, before we go to Tammy, just want to congratulate him, man. I, I mean, killing it, guys, and it just and, and Kylan. I'm glad you jumped on tonight, just because we do have a mixture of ages here. Uh, we have people as young as you know. We've had people as young as 15, 18, 19, um, just. People of all ages here, and it just goes to show you that 
being around, around the right people, you know, being around a community that's tight. You can do this. It don't matter what age you are. It does not matter. It's never too early and it's never too late to do multifamily. You can do so much and so little time in this industry. So, and I just want to add on to that. I know I'm past the two minutes, but I'm sorry. Go ahead. And also, don't just think about the money. Like, the reason why, as you all are aware, I'm in property management as well. And I got into property management at 18 because I knew that if I had an operational experience, it will allow me to be a general partner for a future syndication deal. This $20 million deal, I put $0 in. And I want y'all to really realize that you don't need to be so scared about the zeros. As long as you put in the effort to learn about this game, the money will follow and the partners will come. As long as they can see that you know what the fuck you're talking about, it does not matter about the capital. The capital will come eventually, you know? So that that's why I said my, my third deal is it, I'm, I'm definitely having a goal to be a deal, a deal sponsor by then. But just to get in the game, as long as you just keep going to these events, keep joining these calls and just learn the experience, you don't have to do property management. But as long as you know what you're talking about, you'll be able to to be in the same spot that I am in as now. It's amazing, man. Congrats on everything. Yeah, we since. You know, when we met and everything, we knew right away, right, right Sergio, that you, you will be really successful, man. So, no doubt about it. Huge yeah. asset to the team. So congrats once again. Congrats, again bro. man. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Awesome. Okay, Tommy. Tommy Jaden. <laughs> hey. There we go. How are you, Tommy? Good. Awesome. Awesome. All right. I don't know so. why I have my hand raised, but I'll raise my hand because I was late. So, awesome. Awesome. Tommy. All right. So, for the people that they don't know you, you want to go ahead, go ahead, Tommy, and introduce yourself, and then just tell it, tell us a little bit about your 2023. How was it? Sure. So, um, Tammy Aiden, I came on in about February, March, and I met these two crazy guys, and I met Janet and Sean, and um, just jumped in and said, where can I go? What can I do? How can I help? And um, it started out just, you know, hey, take a look at this the spreadsheet tell me what you think and um at the time it was a t12 had no clue what a t12 was just was a spreadsheet of numbers and i uh, took a glance at it and i said hey this doesn't make sense I'm, i have uh, four years of real estate residential real estate experience behind me and um i said you know i don't know if this is wrong but to me it looks wrong and from that it spanned into um being a property manager now so I um, am a partner in a property management team, and I'm also a company. I'm also a partner in our asset management construction team as well. And it's been an amazing journey, right? I have two properties that I see over, and then also um, it's it just just learning more and more and more. So learning to now I know what a T12 is. You know, when, when I see T12, I get all excited because I can I can actually read it and I can tell you what's going on. To me, a T12 or, or reports that we get um, is the DNA, is the RNA of the property. So that that's to go from not knowing what it was to now being able to explain it and to be a part of such an amazing group that, you know, we're taking down assets when, you know, when a lot of what we just... Well, we just learned from Grant, like he's, you know, he's done what one property this year and we did five this year. So super excited. i um, part of the MIA team and just super excited to be here and to be part of y'all's world. That's awesome. That's awesome. Tammy, and I have a question for you, right? So how, how important you think to start um, surrounding yourself with, with people that are in a different level or the level that you want to be? A hundred percent. Um, I just shared uh, with my partners, Jan and Sean, this afternoon, being around them, being in their world, and just daily interactions has leveled up my, my, my professionalism, my business ethics, my business values. Like, my husband, poor guy, he doesn't stand a chance. Like, I'm like, hey, this is what we're doing. This is how we're planning it. We've got first quarter, second quarter, and he's just like, who is this? Where is my wife that I married? You know, like, no, we're planning, we're going. We're going after it like it's we're not just going to be LPs this year. We're going to be GPs this year. And 
I mean, the most amazing thing is, is if you have the energy and the effort, and if you are sincere and you put that forward and it's genuine and those around you see it, they're willing to invest in you. They're willing to give you that opportunity. Um, you just have to put yourself out there. You have to be vulnerable and put yourself out there. Some awesome. Perfect. Something that you want to add, Sergio? Shout out to y Tammy Yaden. She's actually, like, as she said, uh, she does a lot of the property management. She's actually like my right hand woman. Uh, when it comes down to uh, the asset management side of things, we collaborate on the daily so much. So uh, we, she's huge, huge, huge help to, to, to the team. So I love working with her. Um, we're going to do bigger, better and, and amazing things together. And I can't wait. So I'm proud to call you a partner, a friend, Because we do just hang out randomly. I call her, hey, what are you doing? I'm on my way. And uh, we, me and Jonathan have a short-term rental um, at actually an apartment complex that we own and in, in, in right across the street from the Dallas Cowboys Stadium. So we hang out a lot. It's a, We got a really good relationship. Um, so I'm glad that, you know, we have just something amazing that's blossomed into something that's going to blossom. I can't wait for it to blossom into something even bigger and better. So love you, girl. You're awesome. You're doing amazing. And I just can't wait to keep doing uh, bigger and better things with you. Future's bright. Yes. Amazing. Amazing. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. We have our partner, Eddie. Hey, man. How are you doing? Thank you for being here tonight. Good, man. Good. How's everyone doing? Awesome, man. Perfect. Eddie, Eddie, Perfect based animal. in Chicago, right? So, so if you want to go ahead, uh, Eddie, and introduce yourself. Just tell us uh, a little bit about, you know, who you are, what do you do, and And actually, how was your 2023? Yeah, definitely. So my name is Eddie. I'm from Chicago. Um, you know, part of the team and, and mainly what I focus on is uh, reaching out to brokers, deal sourcing, just strengthening those those relationships. Um, when people ask me how long I've been in, in real estate, I pretty much tell them my entire life. I, you know, growing up, uh, my parents, uncles, aunts, co cousins, they're all investors, agents. Uh, contractors so you know even as a small child when my friends are all hanging out or being outside playing um, you know I'd, I'd have to work I'd have to go cut the lawn or you know break down the walls and, and put them up <clears throat> paint um, all that sorts of things and then just kind of just grew into doing a little bit of plumbing and, and being handyman and and uh, managing some of the the portfolio here in Chicago Um, 2023 for me has really been about growth, growth around, um, you know, the business, the knowledge, uh, the mindset, um, you know, my, my comfort level. Right. So it's really just diving in, uh, with both feet going into the deep waters and, and just truly understanding this business, understanding the process, um, and then just connecting with people. So I had the opportunity to meet Jonathan and, and Serge earlier this year. Um, you know, I loved it down there in, in Dallas. And, um, you know, just I really resonated with them because, um, you know, one thing that they that they mentioned to me was, you know, they tried doing this alone, uh, starting off. And, you know, that's how, you know, myself and, and my team tried. And it didn't really go anywhere. So I, I saw the power of, of partnerships and, and mentorships. So, you know, I, I got involved with, with, uh, you know, obviously cash flow, the, the team, right. Uh, other masterminds, other mentors, and, and just seeking the knowledge, um, expanding my, my, um, you know, my inner circle and, and, and pretty much just diving into this, into this business, right. A lot of people, when you say, Hey, you're an investor, or you're in multifamily to ask if you buy or sell homes or, you know, four flat or something like that. A lot of people don't really understand this business and we're here and we have the knowledge to, to introduce them to them, right. Open up those doors and, and teach them like, Hey, you don't have to start with single family and, and build one at a time. You can dive right in. Because a lot of people think that, um, you know, banks or, or these big institutions own these properties and it can be people like us. Awesome, Eddie. And, and I got a question for you, right? Because, You know, uh, in, in this call, there is a, you know, a lot of people coming for the first time and everything, right? So, uh, and they were, they want to maybe 
learn because I remember myself calling brokers for first time. That's a little scary, right? So, and that's actually your superpower, right? Just calling these brokers, connecting with them, right? Building relationships. So, so how do you have any advice for people that they want to actually build that skill set, right? Because a lot of people think like, okay, I want to start calling brokers. I want to do this and that. So, so what, what advice do you have actually for, for everybody? Yeah, I'll say, uh, you know, dive into it. Obviously, you need to understand the lingo and the knowledge. So books, audio books, YouTube videos, right? If budget is a concern, try to get as many uh, free resources. But uh, even with that knowledge, you still got to get the reps in. I mean, you know, pick a market that you hate, call the broker, ask some questions about the property, about the area, and just kind of feel them out, right? So when they ask you questions and you don't know the answer, you write those down. So for when, when you speak to somebody else or that question comes up, you already have the answer. And it's just going to be through repetition, right? It's not, uh, you know, losses or failures. They're, they're you know, learning lessons. So um, just, just fail fast. Fail fast so you succeed. Awesome, man. Great. Great advice for everybody. So, so thank you, Eddie, for being with us tonight, man. So... Let's go, partner Jimmy. Jimmy from Seattle. How are you doing, man? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Jonathan? Awesome, man. Great. Great talking to you always, right? So let, let's go ahead, Jimmy. If you want to go ahead and introduce yourself and, and tell us a little bit about how, how was your journey this 2023. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Jimmy, and I'm from Seattle, and I love to meet everyone here. And uh, definitely uh, the reason I uh, get into multi-family, it's uh, very simple. For me, I started with single family and I invested in one, two deals before and I uh, get an ad and just like a lot of you guys went to uh, Grand Cadone. So at Grand Cadone events, this is what I remember he said back in March of this year. He said, if you need to have a scalable and systemizable business, you need to get to 1800 units. And uh, for me, it's very simple in math where I'm thinking. Right. So if it's going to be 1800 unit, units, it's going to take me 1800 years to get there with the rate that I'm doing. So there's something that I need to change. <laughs> so from there on, that was it. And that was my my journey again to remote family. And uh, and at that event, actually, that's where I met uh, Sergio and Jonathan. And it's a funny story. The reason why I met uh, Sergio is because I photo bombed him. And uh, we still have the picture. It's a legend picture, and we, we're very excited whenever we hang out uh, with that. But uh, but story short, so we get I get into um, getting to to uh, cash flow empire. Start attending a podcast, just like some of you guys here, first time, second time. I was I was very confused because it's a different language. Whatever they speaking is like Greek. I'm speaking English. They speaking Spanish. Whatever it is. I don't understand what is T12, what is uh, whatever it is that they're talking about, right? So uh, so slowly as I plug in, then I start, okay, now I understand what is a T12. Sometimes I don't have, I have more questions and that's why Sergio always tell me, hey, I have more questions. And I have a lot of questions to Jonathan and Sergio at that time, but I learned a lot throughout the journey and I'm very grateful for these two amazing people to uh, let me uh, be part of the Cashflow Empire I've been a co-host for uh, some podcasts here and also be participating in uh, some of the uh, projects that we're working on, right? Cap whether it's capital raising or uh, whether it was building, building the website, all of those things is very important for my growth in my journey. And uh, very, very appreciative of that. And also met a whole bunch of other people, amazing, like Yoshi, like Sean, Tammy, and Jenna, and Vic, and, and everybody in the team. So we're very, very excited. Um, so, I mean, along the journey, it's all about not only building business, right? Uh, we also hang out a lot, like playing golf, doing hang out at the pools, barbecuing, all of this stuff. But most important thing is a lot of growth for me this year. So I travel over 40, 42,000 miles this year for this business since uh, Grand Cadon. And uh, back in July, uh, we closed uh, uh, 63 units. And right now I have two projects under belt. So next month, I should have uh, 300 units. And my goal for next year is to get into 1,800 units. That's where I want to go. Let's go, Jimmy. That, that, that man, Jimbo. 
man, he don't play no games. And, and, and I love that guy. True story, though. I was taking a, I had just met this 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 girl, uh, little Lauren. Everybody knows her. She's she's a she's a baller. So I'm taking a selfie with her because I just, you know, we're networking. I get her number. I take a selfie. I'm going to send it to her. Well, guess who freaking jumps in the back? Jimmy. So I turned around. I'm like, what, like, what, what are you doing? And uh, we end up just laughing about it. And I'm like, well, what do you do? Well, you know, what's your name? And um, that's how we met. We got each other's numbers. We hung out that whole weekend. And then um, we end up just partnering up. And that that's the point. That's the point of, of, of you know, networking and meeting each other is not just to get each other's numbers and to say, all right, you know what? I'm going to call you later. Like, screw you. And I'm going to forget. Like, the point of these networking events, the point of getting each other's numbers, at least in my eyes, is, hey, like, let's grow, let's build together, and let's go out and take these assets down together. So um, Jimmy's a proven concept that, you know, a simple a simple interaction can just go a long way, guys. So uh, I love it, Jimmy, and super proud of you. And, and, man, I just I love being around you. You're all good vibes. So, yeah. Good looking stuff and congratulations. Looking, won't grow for next year for sure. Oh yeah, man. It's looking the, the future's looking bright. So I don't doubt that at all. But we'll go ahead and get uh Austin Deary on. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? How y'all doing? Doing good, bro. Welcome, welcome, man. Yes, sir. Awesome, Austin. Go ahead, introduce yourself, man. People want to know you, yes, you know, your age yes, and everything, right? So, yes, sir. go ahead, man. Yes, sir. So, I'm, I'm 22. Um, I connected with Sergio and Jonathan, like, at the end of May this this year. And it was just immediately, it was it was good vibes. They, they welcomed me with open arms, asked me how I was doing, what I was doing. And where I was, I was kind of, like, just in a stuck position, just going to networking events, trying to find my way. And like I said, instantly, they just... Uh, brought me into their network. Let me join their their calls on Tuesdays. I joined their mentorship, and since then it just it just felt like everything accelerated. Like it was just it was just really fast. Um, just with Jonathan showing us the underwriting on Tuesdays, breaking it down, any questions we have, just being very patient with us, just showing us every step to it. Then uh, Sergio showing us how to talk to brokers. If we haven't going giving us homework to talk to brokers, and then telling us what. To, what what happened? What did we learn? It's just been all beneficial. And then in July, getting into my first deal, then bringing us into their network with with um, Model Investor Alliance and getting to join that network and just being able to surround myself with people that are doing more, just been really beneficial. Yeah, that is amazing, man, because especially at your, your young age and just becoming a GP, right? So... And then, uh, because we know that actually you you were in another community, right? So, and then uh, you didn't find what you were looking for, right? So, so what do you think about, you know, being in the right community is actually uh, a key for success? Yes, sir. So, like I had joined a mentorship and it was kind of more virtual. It was a, it was in a different state. It's just been really beneficial for me to, to join a group that's, that's in my area. Somebody I can always, and then it's a, it's a very intimate group. I can call Sergio or Jonathan at any time. And I know if I have a question, they can help me. If I need to talk to a broker, they're going to help me. Like any question I know, even if it's outside of Mozart family, I got somebody I can go to and just bounce some ideas off of, ask some questions off of. So it's been very helpful. That's awesome, man. Thank you. Thank you for, for really uh be part of, uh, you know, the team, the calls, and, you know, be there always for, for helping, supporting, right? So, so yeah, man, I, I can't imagine how, how your life is going to be in 20 years, especially because at your young age, right? So all the success yes, that you're going to have. So so that that is exciting, man. So so thank you for, for being here. And then let's go ahead with Victoria. Welcome, Victoria. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Some of you that we met this past couple weekends in Miami. Nice to see you. So awesome. Um, so myself and my mom, Irma, or she's on here. Mom, say hello so you pop up on the screen. Oh, she's muted. She's waving. Anywho, um, her and I are a package deal. Um, we've been around real estate our entire 
life. My mom, her dad was a contractor. She's been in real estate. She's been in mortgage. She's done pretty much every piece of um, single family world. And so all of, you know, buying homes and having rental properties and that piece has always been a part of our portfolio and what we do. And so uh, I have a 19 year old daughter who is a freshman at the Air Force Academy. And so the world starts changing and you think about legacy differently and, you know, how, how do you impact and, and what moves do you make to really, you know, put yourself and, and your family, you know, to that next level. So thankfully, my mom met these two awesome guys and this whole community of people. And it really has, you know, changed things. It's like you're successful in business, you know, and what you think, and then your mind shifts and it opens. So finding community that has the same values as you is just, you know, so important and it allows you to take that step out. So 2023 was awesome. We got to partner and close on a few deals and we're super excited for what 2024 is going to bring and the partnership and and all of the amazing things. I mean, we all have different superpowers, you know, things that we're good at. And really, it's about connecting and, and figuring out how you can impact and serve other people. So, yay, cheers to 2024. That's awesome. That's awesome. And knowing what you know right now, Victoria, what are your goals for 2024? You know, this is one of the things that I, I'm going to put out there. So goals are are important um, and they don't just come overnight. I've been planning for like almost three months. Like what is 2024 going to look like? Um, and there are some big goals in there. One of them is to replace my nine to five income, you know, and be in a place where I I don't have to you know, spend so much time. Time is money. It means a lot. Um, and so that's, that's my biggest goal. There are some other things that have to happen to, to get there, but it, it's not quite mapped out yet. <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. No, thank you for sharing that because that that's actually, uh, I believe that's probably most of your guys goal, right? Just to be able to replace your your W2 income right through you know start getting passive income right so I think that's uh that, that's actually a goal that thank you for sharing that Victoria right because I'm sure like a lot of people are thinking the same thing right so hey Gabriel hey Gail, how are you and thank you for hey. always, always be with that smile for supporting every every single week right so yeah. If you want to go, Gabriel, I, I know a lot of people know you already, but, you know, for, for new people that they don't know you, you want to share about who is Gabriel, right? So, and how was Gabriel. your 2023? Uh, my name is Gabrielle Walker, uh, born and raised in, in Port-au-Prince, Haiti. And uh, I've been in the uh, multifamily space for like a couple of years. And, and I'm still uh, at a GP so uh like like everybody else, I really would like to uh become a G uh become a, a GP at a like, but I like uh I feel like I wanna be a GP, but I'm kind of like picky how I wanna do it in a way, because I want the family concept. It's it's not something that uh oh my gosh, I wanna be a GP, I'll join any team. I'm kind of like I'm kind of like peeky into the because I feel like it's like a family and it has to feel like a family for me it has to be the right team for me. So uh, but my goal is for uh, 2020, uh, 2024 is to be a GP of 400 plus uh, units. And and also, too, I am I do insurance, life and health insurance. So to definitely like grow my business. So that way it can actually uh, operate without me. So I can actually be uh, be a mom and a wife and really enjoy the moment instead of like, you know, scrambling, like, oh my gosh, where's this kid going? Well, that's still going to happen. But it'll be, I'll have more peaceful moments to actually enjoy being a mom because I really think like, 
it's been the biggest blessing in this world for me to actually like raise my girls. It's been enjoyable and having finance, not having finance issue would actually allow me to enjoy them even better. So I like coming here on Tuesday because really, because you guys are like so amazing. And I'm not saying that just because like you guys are there, but you guys are really uh some days when I have a hard time being out there doing this whole insurance thing, somehow one of the uh one of the speakers always give me life. So that tomorrow I'm just like, okay, what what mistake did I make today that I can like, you know go at it better tomorrow. So you think this is about like real estate, but for me it's more because it gives me pieces to make me whole and be better. And then, and my kids listen to you guys too. So it's amazing for me. So this has been awesome. So I thank each one of you guys though. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Gabby, so much. Gabrielle, I'm sorry. Uh, Gabby's been... Too. Gabby's like, okay, good. Um, you've been showing love since day one and, and you've never, you, you come to a lot of our, uh, Tuesday night calls a lot. Like we, and every time she shows up, oh my God, a huge shout out to Gabby for coming and again and again and again. So she's been a day one supporter. We really appreciate all the love and support. Um, and, and just kind of going back to the comment you made about being a GP, you're a thousand percent correct. You got to really find where you fit in, uh, because, it essentially, and you hear this all the time, and, and it's probably really repetitive, but it's true, guys. When you become a general partner, you know, and you decide to take that role and to, and to choose your 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 team wisely, like, you're going to be in that relationship, quote-unquote, that marriage for three to five years. And it's not a joke. It's, it's, it's someone that you're going to have to deal with, a team that you're going to have to deal with for a couple of years. So... Uh, that being said, I love that you, I mean, she dropped some bombs right there. When you are looking to jump on a team, like you got to do your due diligence, like figure it out, talk to them, uh, jo join their calls if they have any, you know, um, see where y'all line up y'all's goals and morals and, and whatnot. So uh, that's something that I, that I absolutely love that you said. And I appreciate once again, and we say it all the time, uh, the love and the support of you, your family of just listening to us and, and just, you know, just always being there. So that means a lot to us. And we need to, we need to jump on the call soon just so we can see how we can help each other out even more and help you accomplish your goals in 2024. So I know me and Jonathan, we can schedule something one-on-one uh, -on -one with you, see what we can help you out and accomplish that and make it realistic, you know, cause you've been in this for a while. So let's, let's be, let's make those goals, those dreams come into reality, but awesome. That being said, we'll go to, is it Hyde? There we go. Is right. it Hyde or Hida? It's Hida. 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 Okay, I'm sorry about that, yeah. man. It's all good. Welcome. No, it's all good. I get this every time. Yeah, how's it going, everybody? Um, yeah, I met some of you guys here, uh, what, two weeks ago at the 10X event. Uh, I am 26. I am from the Netherlands, um, but I live in Fort Lauderdale now, Florida. Um, a year ago, I was a private chef. I was always at sea. I was never at home, and I had... I had no life, uh, you know, um, yeah, I, I barely touched the land and I figured I needed to change. Uh, I yeah. found myself working at Christmas, New Year's, and it just wasn't really doing it for me. Um, so, um, you know, kind of messed around with a couple of things and I found uh, Grant Cardone's uh, uh, event there while I was still working and, you know, took the seminar and everything. And they kind of changed my perspective of working for somebody, working for yourself and how to get there, how to get what you want to, where you want to be, you know, uh, who to surround yourself with, what kind of goals to make and set. And um, so I tried, you know, started looking at different options, different uh, opportunities. And um, about a month or two ago, almost three months now, I started my own creative financing business. Um, so I buy family homes or single family homes, condos, townhouses, and I uh, sell them on a rent to own basis. Um so that's what I've been doing. Um, going well. I have, I mean, changed from a private chef to owning my own company in the States. Um, I'm not even a U.S. citizen, so that's another tricky part. There's a lot of uh, parts of the puzzles there. And, um, yeah, so it's going well. It's going well. So I'm very happy about 2023. And, um, well, hopefully 2024, my business will be 
self-sustainable and I can move towards being a GP as well. I've been looking at the multifamily, uh, doing lots of underwriting, looking at deals, but mostly the connections are lacking. And that's why I'm so thankful for having you guys, uh, young-minded, inspiring people that, you know, are go-getters. And uh, I feel like I kind of fit in there. So I uh, really hope that some of you guys I can connect with. I've already spoke to Willie. He's up next. I spoke to Willie about a deal already. So um, hopefully we can do some work here together and I can be, um, you know, great asset to uh, one of the teams here, who knows, or uh, the other way around. And if anyone ever needs single family creative um, advice, I'm here. Send me a text. Awesome. Love it, man. I love your intro and and, and welcome to the welcome to the community. Um, stay, stay plugged in, brother. I mean, we're all here. There's 61 of us, hungry individuals of all ages, ready to go. So um, best believe that we all got your back for whatever, whatever it is that you need. And this is what this is about. Um, and, and hey, man, you're not you're not you're not too late because I, I started at 26 myself, 28 now. So never too late. Um, you can do so oh, much. Well. Looking forward to you and your success next year. And I, hey, man, I hope to be a part of it too, man. Come on. So <laughs> let's go. Let's go kill it together, Thanks, man. Appreciate it, man. Yes, sir, man. Thank you for your story. I love it. That being said, we got Mr. Willie Enriquez. Hey, Willie. Hey, how you guys doing? Um, my name is Willie Enriquez. I'm I'm from Connecticut. Um, camera. Um. I have I own a couple of businesses. I own a junk removal and I use a client. And I also started a property management um with my sister. Um I met Sergio last year at a um at a network event. I called Sergio my forty forty thousand dollar um relationship I made because I paid forty thousand dollars for another mentorship. Um before I met Sergio, we um we um part of this mentorship program, it was kind of like the team, we just were stale for like six months. And, you know, me and Sergio kept connecting over the calls. And then I don't know what made him invite me to his mentorship, but he invited me. So once I got into his mentorship, me and my team started like cementing LOIs, building the right relationships and building everything we needed for our team to continue to scale. And, um, yeah, 2023 um, was a great year, awesome year. I had my daughter who's actually six months. And then, you know, me and Sergio, I'm very grateful to meet Sergio because he's young. We actually made the right relationships for 2024. My goal is to have 500 doors as a GP and raise a million dollars. That is awesome, really, man. And uh, and I really, you know, I am really inspired about man and you and and your daughters and everything, right? So especially because you're always there showing up, even if you are busy with family and everything, right? So sometimes we see you in the calls with the with the ladies, you know, running around, man. So, so that's a really inspiring about, you know, like there is no excuses, right? There is no excuses. You're always there showing up and, and yeah, man. So I'm, I'm really, really happy and, uh, you know, blessed by having a partner like you. Right. So let's go ahead, Victor, man. Awesome. Welcome to the call. Thank you, man. So I'm Victor. Um, I'm originally from Brazil and right now I live in Toronto, Canada. So I met a lot of people here um, from, I was also in the Grand Cardone event a couple of weeks ago, and I met some, a lot of great people. I met Eddie and some other people that are recognized on the call. So I'm 18 years old right now, and I just graduated high school like last year, like this earlier this year. So 2023 was a, like, I was trying to get a lot of knowledge because I'm in a mentoring program in the Grand Cardone, so I'm learning a lot about real estate. I think it's really great. Like if you especially get into multifamily, I find it like a really great vehicle to create wealth. And my goals for next year is to get involved with a lot of people like you guys and to get into like my first deal in real estate. That would be my first uh, goal for the next year. Use some of the knowledge I'm acquiring right now. And also I'm looking to get into sales at the beginning so that I can have some capital so I can invest in real estate. Um, I think that I will be joining a lot of these calls, especially because I think you guys bring a lot of value. So I would love to connect with people. Um, the market I'm looking at is Austin, Texas, but I'm just like looking to get it like started right away. Um, if anybody has like any advice or anything that you could tell me anytime, 
like I'd be open to listening to it. I'm just looking forward to like learning from everybody and connecting with people. That's mostly what I want right now. And yeah, that's like really good to be here with you guys. And I think that's mainly what I wanted to say. Awesome, brother. Awesome, congratulations. Brother. congratulations. Congratulations. You. congratulations. Uh, you're doing the right thing and it's showing up. And I think um, if, if you just, just keep showing up, man, I promise you a, a lot of opportunity will be brought within our community here. So keep showing up every Tuesday, man. Uh, stay plugged in no matter how is it that you feel. But man, 18 years old, man. I wish I would have started when I was 18. I would have been, um, I would have been doing some huge things by now, by my age, but never too late, never too early, remember. But um, <clears throat> keep coming, bro. And and just you're doing the right things. I love how you're investing in yourself. So um, if there's any advice, we're gonna get to know each other. So this isn't gonna be the last time we talk. Just keep coming every Tuesday. I personally believe not just to be biased that we have one of the best communities out here, man. And um, it's just, just keep showing up, brother, and and welcome. We welcome you with uh, open arms. So I'm glad for you, and I'm happy. I'm, I'm just excited to see you grow this next year. So keep coming, brother. That being said, we got our our, our boy uh, Jake, man. What's up? Glad to glad to have you on. I'm glad you made it. Hey, thanks so much for inviting me, guys. I'm so grateful. You guys are amazing. Everybody I met, you guys are awesome. Really appreciate you guys reaching out. So super grateful to be here. Um, so yeah, a little bit about me. I'm based out of Fort Worth. I'm originally from Naples, Florida. I recently moved to the DFW area about six months ago to grow my business. So I currently have two businesses. I have a product brand online. So I invented a phone case that protects people from wireless radiation. And I have a couple other products that I sell online. I also have a coaching business and I am invested in some single family stuff. And as I was growing, I started running into some road bumps. I'm like, all right, how can I grow this faster? Joined uh, Grant's community, Grant Cardone's community, about in August, October time frame, and then uh, came out to the event where I met all you guys. So, you know, really getting in, just getting in the mix, you know, calling on things, really figuring out the game, and just uh, super grateful to meet you all and just really glad to be here. So I'd love to connect with you all and looking forward to joining the calls moving forward. So great to meet you guys. Thank you for having me. Sir, welcome, welcome, and we're excited to just continue to collaborate. You are in one of the freaking hardest markets in the United States, so welcome, uh, man. We're going to stay connected just because we're doing some huge things here, so uh, hang on, bro. Hang on for the ride. Keep coming every Tuesday, and I'm, I'm excited to, to to just, to, you know, work with you, man, so uh, let's go, man. Welcome, and, and welcome to Texas. <laughs> let's go. I appreciate you guys. Thanks, man. Yes, sir. We got Jada up next. Jada Thoel, one of my favorite individuals. I love this girl. Look, she's already oh. party. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Um, so I'm so sorry. This is the first of your guys' uh, Zooms that I've been able to attend. But I'm so glad that at least I made it within the year <laughs> that I met you guys. So um, my name is Jada. I'm 23. I love seeing everybody that is near my age. Uh, Victor, oh, my God. Let's go. That's awesome. I met um, Jonathan and um, I'm sorry, I, my name is, I mean, Jonathan and Sergio um, back in Dallas, I think in June or July. And they're just, and then I saw them again in Florida and it's just always good vibes. I'm, I love you guys. I'm so excited for when we actually do do something together because obviously that's going to happen. Um, I'm in multifamily, but right now my team and I are uh, focusing on our single family creative wholesale operations. So um, yeah, uh, hey, Victor, I, I would love to to chat with anybody that's interested in, in any of that. And just to connect, um, I'm out in Los Angeles. I'm going to be in Houston for a couple months. So super excited about that. And um, you guys were supposed to tell me when the Grant Cardone event was. <laughs> Yoshi was like, don't worry, girl, we'll tell you. And she never uh... did. The heck? His, but. Yeah, I'm so excited. In I, my defense, it was all over my social media. So mm. sorry. No, <laughs> Yoshi. We, we kind of it, do second that, Yoshi. I second that. <laughs> so funny. Oh, if you guys don't know too, I actually have a podcast and Yoshi was on it and she had a fantastic episode. So 
look up my name on YouTube. Awesome. Find and uh, yeah, look her up there. Yeah, Jenna, and I mean, uh, you have a, an amazing show, uh, you know, at least weekly. I think it is weekly, right? So feel free just to post it and you guys should check it out, right? Because this is about again supporting each other. So 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 thank you, Jada, for 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 sharing that and to show actually that you know being young and everything is, and it's possible, right? So so thank you, thank you for sharing that. Uh, Melly, 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 go ahead, Melly. Hi guys, how's everyone doing? Awesome, <laughs> been great. Hey boo. <laughs> hey guys. Um, yeah, so just a little bit about myself, you guys. Uh, my name is Melissa. I was born in Mexico, and I was blessed to have parents who were brave enough to want to bring us to the United States in order to, you know, provide us for a better future, with a better future. Um, so I am no uh, stranger to hard work. I've been working since I was 15 years old, selling auto accessories to grown men, telling them you know, that this type of headlight would look better with their vehicle and, you know, just a little, little, little kid trying to, trying to, to teach people um, and sell and, you know, trying to make it. Um, ended up in the remodeling industry, in the construction industry. Um, got my hands dirty. I learned so much. I did tape and bedding. I did, man, I did um, sheetrock. I did, you know, texture. I did painting. I did carpentry um so much in the industry uh and that to me was a lot of fun um later on I ended up in the solar industry which is where my life really changed um <clears throat> I felt like I cracked the code in my in my uh, experience because here I was I didn't have a college degree and I was making you know six figures um without having any debt so I just felt like I had made it and I was kind of relaxing a little bit but I just kind of realized that my taxes was intense like here I am at the end of the year and I've had to pay out a hundred thousand dollars to the tax man so I'm like man what am I going to do like how is this going to change um so I was living in Virginia with my spouse and then we pretty much have now opened our ex expanded our minds to multifamily to real estate to all this this entire world I've been doing this now since March and my life has completely changed I now you know, I'm a GP in a 63 unit apartment complex with Jonathan and Sergio in Dallas. Um, I have completely changed my life. I left the industry that I was in where I was making really great money. Um, I left the state. Now I have moved down here to Dallas with my spouse, purchased the home here, and we have partnered up with Jonathan and Sergio and uh, another individual, Ashley, and we now have um, purchased a wholesaling company. So we are going to take over the industry here in Dallas. Our goal is to, you know, just continue to dive into the industry, um, fix and flips, you know, uh, wholesaling, multifamily. It's just my goal here for the next year is just to completely diversify my portfolio and um, ultimately invest a million dollars into real estate. So we'll see how it goes. And I can't wait to see, you know, every one of you guys along on that journey. I can't wait to see all of us a year from now at the table um, speaking about how we, we did it and we made it. So um, I'm really emotional <laughs> about all of this, but I I can't wait. So that's the goal. That's the super, goal. Super proud of my girl. She forgot to mention uh, that we actually went to high school together. So uh, yeah, me, me and Melly, we go back. Uh, absolutely got a lot of love for her. Um, and I'm just... She's just a straight hustler, and and um, those are the people you want to be out, be around with, and talk about just taking action. You know, leaving her six figure job, she was making some damn good money just to come, you know, sacrifice for a couple of months to 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 come, you know, just work on her future, move back home, leave everything out in Virginia, and just coming back to Dallas. You know, those are the people that I want to partner up with, that I want to hang out with, that I want to do business with. Those are the same people that every single one of you ought to be wanting to do uh, business with. So this is this is where I tell you guys, guys, you guys are all in the right room. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all are all in the right room. And I take a lot of pride in that. So um, Melissa, super proud of you. Love you so much. And let's go. That being said, we're going we're going to our 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 guy, Raul Castro. What's up, brother? Out of Florida. Yes, out of Miami, Florida. Uh, hi, everyone. Um, 
think I met a lot of you guys uh, in Miami. Um, it was a great event. Loved it. I hope to see a lot of you guys out in uh, the Connecticon in 2024, another great event. All right. Um, a little bit about myself. Um, I started my investing back in uh, 2019 when I became a part of a mentorship. And I actually got the wheels turning, I would say, probably in 2022. Started uh, purchasing a couple of rentals and uh, also got into a couple of flips. And um, it, it, this last year was uh, a bit rough. But we uh, were able to go ahead and uh, complete two um, flips. One was a huge, huge uh, job that, you know, uh, didn't afford me the, the time to sometimes get on the calls on uh, Tuesdays, uh, which I missed out on. You know, um, uh, the way I came uh, to meet uh, the, the MIA team is uh, through uh, David Nico. And I had met him here in Miami. He was actually uh, working with a company that I did uh, one of the, um, uh, actually, I contract to do some of the work for one of my properties, and uh, he introduced me to uh, Jonathan, and um, you know, and uh, after that phone call, things kind of like just really took off. You know, um, I started getting on the Tuesday calls, and then I became part of the Monday calls for the mentorship, and that really started going getting my education process um, going into, into the multifamily, and I was able to learn a lot. And I really came to terms with, like, I can actually start being part of a multifamily uh, investment team and, and, and actually do this. You know, I didn't, I didn't see myself doing this for, for a few years out. You know, um, I actually thought that I was going to have to do uh, uh, many years in the single family home, maybe get my portfolio there. And then at some time in the future, have the odd opportunity. But after I met these guys, man, everything got fast tracked. You know, I mean, education. Um, and I was uh, surrounded by a lot of like-minded people that wanted the same thing. And uh, uh, really uh, becoming part of this team uh, has allowed me to get there. Now I'm part of, a, you know, Casa San Luis. Um, I'm a GP on there. I'm on the calls weekly. I'm learning. Um, and I'm seeing how everything actually works. And it's, uh, it's a, been a, a real good experience thus far. Nice, brother, man. It's just been such a such an amazing. My bad, John. Where you going? No, no, no. That that was great. That was great. No, that that was oh, amazing really to see you. Uh, how much you're growing, man. So, so that that that's exciting. Uh, okay, let's go with Henry. Go ahead, Henry. You muted. You're trying to say something. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, man. There he is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my boys guys uh, this is a, a short history uh, i've never been in person with sergio and jonathan but i feel that they are my closest friend now this is crazy uh, i is, i'm from colombia i started uh, working here two years ago in Jonesboro, arkansas and in March, I I bought a house, a single family home, and I have a rent for like a co-living. So it's paying by itself and I have in cash flow. And all of this, I did this asking to Sergio and Jonathan what to do with the house. I was scared, but I just go and purchase the house. Then I started investing with them about in the Airbnb arbitrage investing with them. And then I moved to a GP, co-GP in the Casa San Luis. So I'm uh, all in, the skin in, in, in the game. And I feel really, really comfortable. I'm waiting every week for this moment. I'm just getting out of the work. I was working from this morning, 5 a.m. I have a one hour and 30 minute drive every day, going back. And I take this time, like a relaxing time. and. A, learning time and, and investing. So I'm really, really proud to be with this team. Awesome, Henry. No, thank you, man. Thank you. And again, for, for trust, for be hanging out with us. And again, we didn't meet in person, but you know, again, right? It's about for, for people that they're thinking, okay, uh, I just want to invest in my, in my, you know, home state or whatever, right? So, so Henry is actually investing here in, in, in Texas, right? 
And I don't think I have, you, you have been in Texas, man. So that, that's, that's great. I love it, man. I love it. So go ahead, uh, Carolyn. You know, I'll let you go, ladies first. Here we go. Well, hello. <laughs> hello. Um, I start. I was introduced. Actually, my background. I'm in New York, and my background is very varied. I've had many careers. I'm definitely proof that it's never too late to take on something new. Um, I'm a lot older than a lot of people here. Uh, but I have a lot of energy and I love the energy of you guys um, and everybody I meet um, on these calls in the breakout rooms. It, they're, they're wonderful. Um, I was introduced to multifamily about a year ago um, uh, with Grant Cardone. And um, I, I'm trying to remember how I, I joined groups, but I somehow found groups to join um, virtually. I met Jonathan about a year ago and I'm thinking in another group and I'm thinking it was probably about the same time that you started this group. So I ended up coming here um, when I didn't have a conflict because um, I have a lot going on, uh, but I loved being here whenever I could. Um, and I think you've done a fabulous job. I love all the Zoom calls. And I ended up investing. I studied a lot. I've learned a lot over the year. Um, and I've watched you guys grow I've, as I've grown. Um, so I, I've just been immersing myself in anything I could to learn. Um, and it's been a great year. Uh, I just thank you for all you've done. And I, I'm very happy that I invested with you um, after studying and, and listening and learning as much as I could. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I think John's having some technical difficulty problems, are you? Okay. Well. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Carol, Carolyn's been there since day one. And, and I love you so much. You're the best. Uh, you've <laughs> supported us <clears throat> literally from the beginning. So uh, you're another, you're, you're another, uh, um, how should I say this? You're, you're just day one is what I'm going to call it. And, and thank <laughs> you. You guys are great. I love your energy and, thank and you. your genuineness. And um, it's, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> I've loved learning with you. Awesome, Carolina. Thank you so much. Always, always there. I love it. I love it. You know, so I, I wish I can be traveling like you, right? So especially you. you, you, <laughs> you oh, will, I would, uh, oh, I just want to say, if I could, um, my year has been a year of learning and um, getting my feet wet. And but it's all been virtual. I've met two people in the space. I'm networking now. And so next year I plan to I hope to see a lot of you in person. That's let's go. That, that. I love that goal. Yeah, I want to put my goals too. I want to. I want to meet you in person, Caroline. <laughs> love it, love it. Okay, uh, we got you, Lisa. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Hi, so many familiar faces that I met in Miami two weeks ago. So I do currently live in Miami, Florida. Um, I've haven't been in real estate too long. This is about my third or fourth month in. It's so cool to see all the backgrounds here. It's very encouraging and how many young people there are here. I think it was Victor that he's 18, right? And um, I'm 19, just out of high school. So it's super encouraging to see so many backgrounds, so many things. And and it's, um, I mean, I'm in this game for the, for the long run and for success at the end. I come from immigrant parents that they gave up so, so much to bring me here and my family. And I want to give back, eventually retire my mom. Right. So that's what I'm here for. And this year has taught me a lot that uh, business is a mindset and it's an inside out work that you have to do. Work on your mind first and the rest kind of follows. And it's it's so amazing. The people that I've been able to meet like Sergio, I just met him two weeks ago, but has done such a great impact in my life. Right. And networking with people that are like minded, that will help you build your mind, like anything you let in through your ears, into your eyes. It honestly does affect you and the actions you take. But um. 
I do look forward to meeting more of you people. You guys just seem so awesome. Like I'm excited. I'm encouraged from all your stories. And yeah, I'll leave my my phone number, my contact in the comments. Welcome to the welcome to the group. Welcome to the community. And I'm just super excited just because um, we had a really good conversation. We talked a lot, and um, I'm just happy that you're here. I'm I'm happy for what's coming in 2024. You don't see it right now. But uh, I promise you, it's going to be well worth it. Um, it's all about community and who you're just, um, who you're, who who you're kind of connected with. And we just have an amazing group here. So you're, in, uh, I just that being said, I think you're just in, you're in great hands with us uh, and everybody. And you know, proximity is power, and you will hear that a lot. Who you hang out with is super important, and uh, we got your back. So super excited to uh, to do big things with you in 2024. I promise you, you're gonna. You're going to look back and be like, oh, my God, that was crazy. That was a 2024 20, is crazy, you know. So uh, that being said, let's go. Happy to see you here and to continue seeing here, seeing you here. And, guys, she's in Miami. We have some partners in Miami. So um, y'all reach out, y'all collaborate, y'all network. And, and yeah, I guess, uh, John, you want to go ahead? Are we going to skip Luis again? <laughs> We'll skip him one more time. <laughs> well, I had John. <laughs> oh. Hey. Hey, guys. Hi. Hi. How's everyone doing tonight? What's up, John? Hey, what's up, buddy? Johnny. Johnny. What's up, brother? Yeah, I'm up, man. Uh, just to lay out a little bit about myself, I'm um, I'm actually uh, born in California, but I moved out to Florida years ago, and uh, real estate was uh, kind of like a little sore subject for me because in uh, 2003, I, I used to own a mortgage bank. And if uh, people that are a little bit older, I'm sure you're familiar with what happened with that whole, you know, fiasco. Uh, just Google Bear Stearns. I was one of their partners and we just went all and we all went down in flames and in dramatic fashion. And so um, I was butthurt, actually. I was butthurt in, in real estate for a long time. Um, you know, when you touch something, you don't want to touch it again. And so I, I started a funeral home. I did that for 10 years. And my boy, who I sold it to, um, I'm out of it now, but I sold it to him. He's like, you got to get back into the real estate game. You got to do what you love. And and and, and that's your passion and because that's what I love doing. And so um, so in 2023 is, is basically my my breakout year. I got my uh, my mortgage license to um, to do loans. And that's what I recommend too. like for, for people that are new is to get your loan officer license because that's the foundation of real estate is money. So you learn programs. And then when you're originating, you also come across deals as well. So, um, so yeah, basically uh, I started doing that, sent out a bunch of mailers and now I'm doing um, a land development deal in Giddings, Texas, I, uh, 20 units I'm building. I'm more of a, a builder. That's my mindset. I'm doing that. And then I, I came across this one gentleman. He has uh, 75 properties. So and they're all vacant land in, in Houston, Texas, um, in uh, Rust, Texas, and a little bit of Austin market as well. So I'm doing that, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. In a nutshell. Great, great man. Welcome, yeah. welcome to the to the Tuesday night call, man. I appreciate you. Thank you. On. Thank uh, you. I appreciate Johnny, it. I like I like to call him Johnny. Johnny Bravo, just because he's Johnny slick. Bravo. <laughs> Meet him in person. He's just got this persona, you know. It's, I love it. I love his style. I love yeah. His oh, and, and one last thing too. One thing that I learned is well, I'm 41, so I, I've been in the game since I was 18. And if I would have if I would have stayed in it, I would be super wealthy right now. But I'm starting all over again. But one thing that uh, and the, and the reason why I'm here is that in real estate you can't be alone. I we back in the day we used to call it like a lone ranger. You can't be alone in business. You can't be alone in in, in really any space. And that's that's one of the reasons why I got out of the funeral industry is because I try to get people involved. I try to get, but they just, it's like kind of, where do I fit them? Where do I put them? You know, cause you know, the, the nature of the business, but um, yeah, don't do anything alone and um, get your, get your mortgage license, your, your law officer license. Cause you're just, you're just going to come across so many deals. It's amazing how many deals you come across. And uh, oh, and then uh, another quick story. I, I I got rid of this lady's mortgage, the reverse mortgage, um, and so I got rid of her payment, rather I should say, and she she gave me her land, and now I'm developing on it. 
So it's just building relationships, originating, and it, it all started with the 59 cent mailer. I don't know what, what it is now, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's awesome, man. Thank you. Thank you, John, for, for sharing that. So we have a, we have our partner, Luis. Go ahead, man. So you want to introduce yourself with everybody and then uh, tell us about how was your 2023? Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, my name is Luis Carolyn. I'm from Richmond, Virginia. Well, uh, my background is construction. I started in construction uh, back in 2000. So I have a lot of experience in construction. Um, I started working, you know, since I was 15. So, you know, I learned pretty quick how to uh, grow up myself as a business owner, as a contractor, since I was, you know, in an early age. Um, I started working and then uh, in 2008, uh, I, I, was, I, I was working as a, um, as a W-2 employee. I got laid off. Um, I lost my job back in December, 2008. I had a baby on the way back then and uh, didn't have no money, no food. So it was very rough for me. I couldn't find a job until uh, September 2009, basically a year without work. So I was hustling, you know, just trying to get food on, on the table for me and my, my family. So after that, um, back in uh, in 2009, I find, I find a new job and then I say, well, from now on, I'm not going to depend on a, on a W-2 job. I got to find, you know, something else for me. So I started working on the um, on the uh, construction skills that I had. I started working for other people as a, just as a contractor, as a handyman. In 2011 or 12, we uh, we opened our own company, me and my brothers. It's uh, four brothers. We opened uh, their construction company. And 2013 and 14, we started buying... Uh, single families and start doing uh, uh, flipping uh, business. So we basically make money in construction. Uh, the money we have extra, we buy a house and fix and sell. And that's how we start getting into the real estate. But in, to, in 2017, I was, you know, feeling depressed that I wasn't, I wasn't scaling as much as I want to go, you know? So I start uh, getting a little depressed and finding ways how to, how to create wealth, how to find, you know, a way to success. So I started looking in YouTube, Google, how to become rich or wealthy, you know. So I find out that the best way to create wealth is through real estate. So I started following Grant Cardone back in 2017. And uh, finally this year in March, I decided to come to his event in Florida. So um, I joined his club because I was really desperate, you know, to, to get some of his knowledge. And, and at that event, I met uh, Jonathan and Sergio that they were already uh, doing uh, real estate, uh, multifamily. I wanted to say multifamily. So um, that's when I met them and uh, they told me what they were doing and we become really good friends. Um, right now I am an investor with them. You know, we are partners in, in two deals already and, is gonna be third very soon, and also I am an investor with uh, with uh, Grant Cardone as well. So this year has been amazing for me. A lot of growth, a lot of success, and let's hope for the 2024 be a, a better year because I'm hungry. Like I I always tell them, I'm I'm hungry and I want to grow up with all my team. I want to take everybody with me because this journey is not for long people. It's it's, it's a teamwork, you know. I love it. I love Mr. Mr. This is Mr. If y'all didn't know, now you know. Feed me. Guatemala. This is Mr. <laughs> Guatemala, and he is going to be branding that everywhere um, next year. So y'all, y'all get ready. Super proud of this guy. This guy's not. He said we're friends. We're not friends. We're family. Uh, we yeah. are family, and I love this guy so much. So, um, man. Please, super proud of you, and and I can't wait to do bigger things with you next year, bro. Hey, hey Sergio, I want to say uh, thank you to Jana, Tim, Sean, Jeredaya, Tammy, all you guys at MIA are amazing people, and we love you guys. You guys are helping us, you know, to reach our next goal. Thank you very much. Well, Sean threw the thumbs up. That means let's go. He did the Chuck Norris. Yes. <laughs> That being said, I want to I want to get Ashley up here real quick. Ashley Solano, 
So we're gonna get her. Uh, we're gonna put her on the spot and and make her. Solano. Some... Solano. Hi guys, can you hear me? Is everything good? Yes. Hi. Well, I'm Ashley. Uh, this is Jasmine. Hi guys. Yeah. Do you want to go first? Sure. Jasmine will <laughs> go first. Yeah. Um, uh, mine will be really really quick. <laughs> um, hi guys, I'm Jasmine. Um, I came into this by accident. Actually, I met Sergio um, through Jonathan, and I met Jonathan at the 10X conference back in February in Vegas, which was completely mind-changing. Like, my life got flipped upside down. I have never been around so many like-minded people that are just hungry, that have a goal set in mind, and everyone's running to the finish line together. Like, this is insanity, complete insanity. Um I don't have any type of like background in real estate. I have family that have construction companies and stuff, but I've never had anything to do with it myself. But don't count me out yet because <laughs> next year I'm going to get my real estate license. Yeah. That is goal number one for 2024 for me. Um, that way I kind of have some skin in the game. Um, this is super exciting and an exciting venture to say the least. I, I can't wait to learn more, you know, being around these people constantly. Ashley, she's amazing. Man, just when she comes home and she talks to me about her day, I'm like, man, but what did you do with this and this? And how did this go? And I have like a checklist when she comes home. I'm like, tell me everything. I want to know everything. It's just so much information. And half the time, I don't know what she's saying, you know, yeah. but it's all about the support. And that's what I'm here for. So I'm super excited to get to know like everyone here on the call. Um, build those relationships. And obviously this community is amazing. Uh, the people in here are amazing. Everyone has such special talents, each and every person here. Um, and I'm super excited to see what 2024 has for everybody. It's going to be awesome. Year of receiving for sure. Amen. Yeah. LFG. <laughs> awesome. 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 So um, hi, everybody. My name's Ashley. Um, kind of have the same story as her. I went to the 10X Growth mm -hmm. Conference, not really knowing why I was going there, just just to get, you know, filled up, you know, and to get myself on fire for the new year. Uh, met Jonathan, and he was inviting us to their podcast. Every week he was following up, and I told Jasmine, I was like, hey, get on. You have more time than me. And she was like, no, if we're going to do this, we're going to do this together. And I was like, ah, okay, you're right, you're right. So hopped on, most amazing uh, podcast. I was... And I felt special. And I think that's what you guys are really good at. You know, you make everybody feel like family. And in this community, like they said, it's really important to have that. And I'm Hispanic. So it's all about that. You know, I, I want to feel like I have a, a place. Yeah, of course. Um, so my uh, real estate journey, um, I come from a family of entrepreneurs. Uh, my family owns medical businesses, restaurants, bars, all sorts of things. And um, during COVID, it really hit our business really hard. So I had to pivot and get myself into something else, which I did. And I got into wholesaling. And the next thing I know, I'm owning my own franchise within a year of that. And that was definitely just manifestation. So I've been doing that going on three years in April and two years being a business owner of my own franchise. So um, didn't know anything about multifamily. I'm just happy to get my, you know, my, my foot, you know, in the door with real estate. So my goal this year for sure is to do some multifamily. I want to do two of them. I don't know how many doors I want to do. I just know I want to, I want to sign my name somewhere on one of these deals. And of course, grow my portfolio with single family just to help me make uh, money to get into more multifamily. So that's it. That is amazing, Ashley. And, and again, that's the power of uh, our rooms like this, guys, because, you know, again, we met uh, in person with Ashley and, you know, Jasmine, but but then we stay connected, right? Uh, you know, being part of these, these calls, right? So, so yeah. And, you know, I think we're uh, already at the top of the, you know, the, the call, right? So, but I want to see you know, next year, uh, if, if this is your first time here, I want to see you guys next year telling about how was your 2024, right? How how you were able to to grow your journey, right? So so let's go, guys, because, you know, we have a, a lot of us, we have a big goals. 
So we want you guys have a big goals as the same as, as we do. So that's the whole purpose of this, right? So let's go, Sergio. <laughs> let's go with what? <laughs> Come on, man. I see I'm, that you unmute yourself. So, you know, I thought you were going to say something. <laughs> I'm responding to you, bro. <laughs> Go ahead, man. So, yeah, uh, 30 minutes again, guys. So, um, uh, again, Tuesday, next Tuesday is going to be uh, already we're going back to having a speaker. So, it's going to be amazing. But, but yeah, I mean, again, thank you for the support. Uh, we hope you get inspired about today because, you know, it was a lot of amazing stories from people, you know, sharing, uh, you know, the real life. You know, how was their 2023? How their lives, you know, changed? You know, by by just uh, you know, start surrounding yourself with different people, thinking different, right? Because I think that's key, just about thinking different. Yeah, yeah. Thank y'all once again, um, guys. Typically, just to kind of have the the house rules. Usually, we usually go on for about an hour tonight. We kind of went a little over. We know it gets late. We respect our times, especially because you know everybody's coming in from different time zones. So just show, just so you know, it's usually from seven to eight. Um, Seven to eight central time, eight to nine Eastern. And then like freaking, I don't know, mountain time. I don't know none of that. That's that's way out of my time zone. I, mean, I know Texas time, but but yeah, yeah. So y'all get the point. But we usually hit a solid hour of speaker and y'all get to ask questions. The point is to have accessibility and reach and the network with these speakers that we bring because as bad as I want to shake Grant Cardone's hand every time I see him, I the reality is I don't, right? So we we do this so that we can have more proximity. Um, and one of me and John's philosophies, Jonathan's philosophies is, you know, our people are your people. So um, there's no hater stuff here. We want to see everybody grow. We want to connect with everybody. And, you know, call us too, you know, reach out to us on social media or text us or a lot of y'all have our numbers. Let us know where we can help y'all out. If there's anything we can help y'all out on. So that being said, I guess we're going to go ahead and wrap up this call for tonight. And we look forward to starting off the new year next week with the freaking bangers. So uh, once again, y'all be safe. I hope y'all had some great holidays. Uh, have a happy new year. Um, start writing out your goals today, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. Like, you know what? What am I going to do? What difference am I going to make? How many lives am I going to change? You know, and and yeah, guys, um, looking forward to seeing y'all next week. Um, and yeah, reach out if you have any questions.